Well, the record salmon run is being felt in rivers and streams on Vancouver Island this year. Coho are returning to Colquitt's Creek and Saanich in promising numbers. The annual volunteer count is peaking this week, and so far more than 100 wild coho are heading past Panama Flats to find their spawning beds. Mary Beth Burton joins us now with more on the salmon and how the numbers this year are very encouraging. Mary Beth. Hudson, can you imagine in just one day this year, we've had more coho return than there was in an entire season in 2002. Now, we may not be in for a record-breaking year, but it should be above average, a promising sign that urban sprawl isn't stopping Mother Nature at her best. Behind Saanich's Tilikum Mall, a seasonal spectacle is underway. A metal fence and holding pen helps monitor coho swimming up Colquitt's Creek. The salmon jump and fight, hoping to escape their temporary cage. One at a time, the coho are pulled out. So that's a female, and that's 75 centimeters. The fish are measured, and their weight guesstimated, and then they're released. For years vary. We have had a lowest year, was two years ago, was 57 fish returned to the counting fence. But on the high side, in 2002, we had 575 coho. 16 coho are in the cage today. 45 and, uh, okay, 42. Including a pair of jacks. The larger ones are four to five years old. The jacks are about three years old. And that's their way in nature of being able to maintain the run and keep genetics uh, even throughout the various different year classes that come to this creek. The coho have traveled from Victoria's Inner Harbor through the gorge to get here. And they brought a predator along too. This seal is deep in Colquitt's Creek. Perhaps from being attacked by a seal. Some of the coho have battle wounds from their journey. Once here, the journey's almost over. The coho head past Panama Flats to spawn. This is the only volunteer count on southern Vancouver Island. The results of today's count will go to the DFO. The count happens every morning around 10.30 and often draws a crowd. Well, I'm just astounded at the size of the fish here because usually this is just such a tiny little creek. And I'm thinking, there's no way, but they've got these huge fish coming up. And we're thrilled that it's right here beside the mall that we can tell people that we have wildlife so close to an urban development. It's the combination of wild nature next to urban sprawl that makes this count so extraordinary. Even though this goes through a very urbanized area and there's a lot of housing, there's some agriculture upstream, there's some industry upstream, but besides our best efforts, as I like to say on a humorous side, these fish survive in the creek. The Colquitt's counting fence went up at the beginning of October. 108 coho have passed through so far. The spawning count ends in January. And then there's a new count in the spring to see how many coho are heading back to the ocean. Now you anglers are probably watching tonight and hoping that you can reel in one of those coho, but of course there is no fishing allowed in Colquitt's Creek. Ogden Point is where they'll be returning to in the spring and you can wait with your reels there. The volunteer counters are expecting school groups to come to watch them in action in the coming weeks and they enjoy educating onlookers. So check it out at about 10.30 every morning. The more well-known salmon spawning site, Hudson, everybody wants to know what's happening at Goldstream. I've talked to them today. They're expecting the chum returns to start in a week or two. That's always fun to see. I'm like the people in your report, Mary Beth. I had no idea that there were salmon that size so close to the mall. Me either. It was awesome. Yeah, very cool. Thank you.